welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this uh, face mask that I am going to be using. I recently came back from vacation and my skin, you guys, let me see, I don't know if you can tell, yep, look at that. My skin, you see all these little, all the redness, all that stuff, my skin hates me right now. So I'm going to be doing a mask with Manuka Honey. and some baking soda. So I went ahead and I put about a teaspoon of baking soda in here. And I'm gonna take my honey and I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of that. I also recently came back pretty sick with like a cold. And um, Manuka honey isn't just for facial masks, obviously. It's like one of the, it is the best honey that there is out there. So honey has a ton of benefits. And one of them being um, that it helps fight the cold and flu, and it helps with um, it helps soothe the um, soreness from the throat, all that good stuff. So I did take it this morning. It was the second the second day that I took it, second morning, and I must say I feel so much better. I had a fever last night, and like I honestly feel so much better. So I just went ahead and I mixed it all up what it looks like it, I've never used this mask before I don't know if I've been like living under a rock but I just recently found out about Manuka honey and I'm like obsessed I love honey to begin with and this one just has so many amazing benefits so I'm gonna be um, leaving I'm gonna be linking down where you can purchase the this this is the Melora Manuka honey um, so I'm going to leave a link down below where you can go ahead and purchase this if you are interested. I'm going to go ahead and start applying this to my face. I'm kind of low-key scared because very, very sticky. There's many different recipes on, like, face masks with Manuka honey. I just wanted to keep it really simple and just do um, a minimal amount of ingredients for this first time. So, um... I just went ahead and did the baking soda with the honey. I did see another one that looked really cool, and that was the, it was Manuka honey, turmeric, lemon, and I believe rolled oats. And that one seemed pretty cool too. But I could not find my turmeric to begin with, because I was going to add turmeric to this one, but I couldn't find my turmeric. I know I have some, but just don't know where it's at. So it is very sticky. Obviously it's honey. So it's gonna be sticky. So don't be intimidated by the stickiness. Okay, so I've got that all over my face. You guys, this is so sticky. Yep, yep. Okay, so I have like about enough honey to make another mask in here. So I'll probably just go ahead and put that in the refrigerator or something. I'm just going to go ahead and let this sit on my face. I'm going to leave it on from, um, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes because with the heat of my face I feel like it's starting to somewhat like get a little melty so we'll see how that goes but so far it's starting to feel my skin is starting to feel like super hydrated like instantly it's almost it's kind of crazy because you would think honey would kind of make it a little bit like stiff kind of and it just feels I mean it's not stiff like I can totally move around it's not like, you know how you do like the clay mask and your face instantly gets like super stiff. My face doesn't feel that way right now. I just, I don't know, it feels like really dewy. So, so far I am loving it, loving it, loving it. So yeah, I'm going to leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes and I will be back. So it's been about 30 minutes and as you guys can see, it's like gotten to be kind of runny but not to the point where like you have to remove it. But it's just, I'm thinking, because of the heat that we have within our body. So, um, my face still, my skin still feels really, like, hydrated and really kind of, like, I don't know. I don't know, like, dewy, soft, kind of. The way it looks is kind of how it feels. So, I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out.
Okay, so I still have, you know, the bumps, but I'm sure you can tell that they're so much smaller. I think that any kind of redness that I have going on right now is just fully from the water being warm and just me kind of exfoliating um, the mask into my skin. It was super easy to remove. Like, all I did was just kind of, like, rub it and stuff like that just because I wanted to, my pores to just absorb as much as it possibly could in the mean, like, while I could. Um, but it was so easy to remove. My skin feels so soft, you guys. Oh, it feels so good. And it feels really, like, it doesn't feel dry. I feel like every time that I've used any kind of a exfoliating mask, because I have um, dry to combination skin, it tends to, like, make my skin feel really dry. And that is not the case right now. It just feels, like, smooth. It feels so freaking good. So I highly, highly recommend that you guys try it. I'm definitely going to continue to use it, and I will let you guys know. I'll update you guys on um, how it's going and if I feel like it's continuing to help my skin or if, you know, you have to use it X amount of times in order for you to see some kind of a difference. But I feel like you can totally see a difference. Like, my skin feels so much better, you guys. Like, I didn't expect for it to take all my blemishes out, obviously, like, right away because this is my first time using it, but it feels amazing. Ooh, yes, yes. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys found the video helpful. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and link down where you can go ahead and purchase the Melora Manuka Honey. And yeah, if you guys like videos like these, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.